Hello and welcome. I want to do this short video to show you how to open a trading account with your forex broker. I did a post last week on how to choose the best forex broker for you. And I have a lot of people reaching out and asking me questions on how to open a trading account with the broker, okay? Because I made recommendations. I recommended two different brokers for you. And I'm going to be using one of these brokers. I'm going to be using the Hot Forex to do this example. However, I would also suggest that you use the link directly. I'm going to be leaving the link under this video. So click on the link directly. Don't just go to the website to open your account. Use my link that I shared with you that is under this video or that is on this video, okay? Um, so it's when you click on it, it's going to take you to the registration page like this. Under client information, client type, leave it as individual unless maybe you're a company or you want to have a joint account or something. Then move on to personal information, country of residence should be Nigeria. If you're outside Nigeria, I would uh, encourage that you use the other broker that I recommended, okay? So Nigeria, you scroll down and look for Nigeria and click on it, okay? And then title, are you Mr. Miss or Mrs? Full name, full first name, not full name. So understand that full first name means your first name. So like me, I put uh full last name. What's your full last name? Put your last name there. Email address. Put your email address, your active email address. Um, date of birth, select your day, your month, and your year. Okay. Then move on to phone number, input your phone number. Your base currency, you can leave it at US dollar and you can change it to Naira if you prefer Naira, okay, or you prefer Euro, whichever one you prefer. And move on to Honda email subscription option. If you want to be receiving company news and all that in your email, leave it checked like this. If not, go on to under, uh, on click on, on check it if, if not. Then under terms and condition, you may want to first read the privacy policy and then click on I have read and accepted the privacy policy. Then before you go ahead to register, make sure you solve the security question they put there. Of course, your home is going to be different from this, but if I'm going to do this, that's 19 plus 8 equal to 27, and then I'm going to click on register, okay? So after registration, you will go to your email and verify your registration, and then you click on login, and it's going to bring you to this page, okay? So when it brings you to this page, click on open new trading account, this red stuff here, or you go to the three dots you can see on the right hand side the upper side of the of your window on the right hand side there you can go to the first um you can go to the drop down and click on um my account and then open trading account open trading account now this trading account you want to open this one is the live account if you have money that you want to start trading with, that you've learned how to trade already, that's when you need it. But you can still open it down or you leave it first and open demo first. So this one where I'm showing you is the live account, okay? So it's going to bring you to a page like this. Uh, us for SMT4, leave it as that. Leave it at the us for SMT4. Then depending on the kind of trader you have, we have premium, we have micro, we have auto, we have zero spread. Uh, if you are a swing trader, a day trader, you know, or a long-term trader, premium is okay for you. But if you are a scalper and you just want to pick three pips, five pips in the market and go house, zero spread will be fine for you, okay? So zero spread, however, uh, condition apply, open with as little as 60000 But for the premium, you can open with as little as $100. $100 is like 36000 okay? So you choose whatever, whichever one you want, but I recommend premium. Um, unless you are a very short-term scalper that you just pick three, five pips and go, because uh, there's, a, there's spread charges on premium, but zero spread is no charge, no spread charge, okay? But there's commission, so understand that. 
because the broker are also in the market to make money. So where they, they are offering zero spread, they will definitely charge commission, okay? So once that is done, move on. Under leverage, change it to one ratio 200 is fine, or one ratio 100, one ratio 200 is fine. Account currency base, leave it at US dollar. Uh, choose your bonus. I, I don't really advise using bonus, but if you want to use bonus, if you want to use 100% credit bonus, you may want to first read um, the contempt and condition because there's always terms and condition. If you want 100% bonus, that means if you are paying in $100, you can see balance of $200 to trade it. However, I understand that you won't be able to withdraw the extra bonus given to you. Then, uh, Introducing broker ID, that's my ID for introducing you to Hot Forex. So you may you, you just type in two three two six seven seven three and then you click on open account. Okay. Three two six seven seven three. I'm also gonna put that on that this video so that you can do that. Now, so that's one when you click on that one, it's gonna open the account for you and you will check your email for your login details. Then, if you want to open demo account, click here again. Uh, then click your my account. Click open demo account. That's the third thing there. Open demo account. So it's going to bring you back to a page like this. Hot forex MT4 is fine. MT4 demo hot forex. You may want to read the advantages and all that. Then your leverage. Leave it at one ratio, 200 or one ratio, 100. Balance, $5,000 is fine. That's the list they offer on us for X, $5,000 because you're not going to be trading with $100,000. Even a lot of people won't even trade with the $5,000, but this trade is something that is close to the small money you'll be trading with when you start, okay? By checking this box, I place my discharge signature stating that I have read and agreed to all terms and conditions, and I'm at least 18 years of age or holder, okay? So you need to be 18 years of age or holder, and you may want to read the terms and conditions before you continue. Then you click on, you check this box, and then open demo account, your demo account. Once you open your demo account, it's going to bring something like this. Your login detail will show you something like this, okay? Your login detail is going to come like this. Let's say your login detail comes like this. What do you do next? For people who have not traded before, we just want to start practicing little by little from what they are learning here and there. I would encourage that you open a demo account. And how do you open a demo account? So this is going to be a full post on how to register or not Forex and how to open your demo account. So to open your demo account, go to my Play Store, your Play Store, and search for MT4, MetaTrader 4, okay? So when you click on MT4, it's going to bring that MetaTrader 4, and then you download it for me. I have it already. I just may need to download it. I just, I downloaded it already, okay? Um, so let's go through it. Let's say you downloaded it. You need to open it. Um, I just need, recently downloaded this one again on this place too. So the method to that for the, as a demo that comes with it too, but you don't need that one. So just go straight to the plus sign and um, open a demo account. Or oh, no, for this one, you need to go to the option of login to an existing account. Login to an existing account. So click on that and then search for HF. HF means hot forex. HF market. Okay. So it's going to bring you different stuff like this. Check that your link again and see where the platform is. So it tells us HF market SV demo. Okay. If you look at this part. HF market S S S V demo. So that's what you are going to search for. H HF market S V demo. So if it's your home may be different, maybe your home may be S V demo. My home is S V demo. So I click on S V demo and then I put 
my user ID. I, I copy that. I'm going to place it on that login. And then you are going to place your trader's password. Okay. You may decide to change that later. Trader's password. Click on paste and then sign in. Okay. So when you sign in, it's going to bring you the, so let's wait for it. Let's see. I hope we got all the login details correctly. I hope we got the login details correctly. Okay. Oh, failed. Okay, let's try it again. I'm going to delete that. So I deleted that. I, I want to try again. HF market has the demo, right? Has the demo server. And then we have as user ID, we have this number. I put in the number. And then I go to trader's password. I copy. So ensure you copy it properly so that everything will go here. So I'm trying to sign in again now. Okay, so it has signed in and the five thousand dollar we register with is now there. Okay, so the five thousand dollar we register as a, as what we want to trade with is there. And here you are going to see um different currency pairs. But if you had want to add any other currency pair, click on the plus sign up there on this yellow blue place and search for it. Let's say I want to add GBP LZD, assuming it is not there already. Okay, so you type it in on the search box and then it's going to bring this like this and you click it. Then if you go back, you're going to see it. It is now the last thing there. So let's assume you want to make a trade. What do you do? You click on any of them and it's going to bring up this uh, box. This pop up box will come up. Click on new trade. Then you start trading. If you want to do a buy, you click on buy. I just click on buy. Let's say you've analyzed, so you don't just click on buy without analysis. I click on buy, and this is buying for me. Your AUD USD is what I click on. Um, I may also want to modify it. If I press it like this, I press the trade that is ongoing. I click it down. It's going to bring this pop-up box again. You click on modify. You can put in your prof, um, take profit and then your stop loss on the red side, okay? I hope this is a sh good short video to kick, to get you kick started on this. If you have any questions, please reach out and ask your question. Thank you, Hannah, for a beautiful day.